All right, well today we are at Bedford Street Antiques and I'm about to head in. They are open till seven o'clock, so I've still got a few hours. I'm gonna head in and see if I can find anything that I can flip for a profit. And I actually am looking at the, the truck in front of me and I think it's Paul's truck. So I think Paul is here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head in and see what I can find that I can flip for a profit. And I'll see you guys inside, here we go. He's always got stuff stashed in there and nooks and crannies. <laughs> oh look, this one's got a bird on it. I do like that. It's great. I don't think I'm going to pay 40 for it. I mean, I think that's a good price for it, but I don't think I can do that for a resale, so. Oh my gosh, I remember those saucers when I was a kid going down the hill at Grandma's house. There's these little salt and pepper shakers here. These kind of look like the Japanese. Yeah, look like by Japan. Like they want to be Hummels, but they're not. I've had pretty good luck in this booth in the past, so I always take a pretty good look in here. I do like this because it's got the enamel on it. The little tray is cute. And this is actually a celluloid tray. <laughs> so, way down here, as I was leaving the booth, I noticed this guy out front. This art glass. And it's an ashtray, but I'm just really not that taken to it. I do like that duck up there, but I think I'm gonna pass on the duck as well. Look at me being a little picky today. What's wrong with me? Five for the quilt. I really should probably list the quilts I have rather than look at new quilts. Fortunately, this one's got some condition issues. Multicolored two handle base. For fifteen dollars. If I don't buy a bunch of stuff upstairs, I'm gonna come back to that. But upstairs is usually where I get the bulk of my stuff. When we go upstairs to visit Paul. But I'm definitely considering that face. Oh my goodness, look at that. I love carved pieces, you guys know I'm a sucker for those. Hand carved by Jack Messenger. Again, on my way out, if I don't buy a bunch upstairs, I'm gonna grab that. All right, so during quarantine, if you guys remember, <laughs> Paul was kind enough to invite us to his warehouse to do some shopping. Now, Paul's warehouse is not open to the public. But this is where he sells the majority of his things. And this is Bedford Street Antiques in Carlisle. So this is where we shop Paul's stuff normally. 
when everything's not closed. I need to get her another googly eye. Oh my gosh, I love these strawberries. the room of ironstone you guys know i'm really not that good i mean you that i'm really not that good at ironstone i don't know ironstone it's really not my forte um so i'm not very good at ironstone i'm just checking out these little cups this is a narataki a chocolate pot and little cups tempted i am tempted Got some grill plates over here. The grill plates are the ones that have the sections on them. Those are considered grill plates. Looks like we've got some art glass up here. 35 pair of blown bowls by, can't read that. Cobalt edge, that's all it says, a cobalt edge. So there should be a pair. That's what it says, a pair. I'm only really seeing one. I am missing the other one. Maybe I'm misreading it. It is possible. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? <laughs> Little butter pats. Nice set. I've spotted something. Quote fifteen dollars. What? What's wrong with it? It's open. Beautiful. Fifteen dollars. Just do not just say I don't need any more quotes. That's usually how it goes. I say I don't need any more of something, and then something like this comes along. on this is is pretty sloppy. <laughs> yeah, so they can't tell if they can stitch or not. I feel like some of them are. But I uh, can't tell. I just love the patterns. I love how colorful it is. I like this quilt. And I'll take it for $15. Absolutely. That's just fantastic. Okay, 15 bucks. Okay, let's peek over here. I do like that bunny lamp, but it looks pretty modern. If I didn't already have dresser trays at the shop that I was getting ready to sell, I'd probably scoop those up. But I've got some to list, and so I don't really need more right now. Long red wear. Not familiar with this. Oh, 
Michael Hager. $18. Do I need it? That's the question. Probably not. I might want it. I might grab it out of want. I think I'm going to grab it out of want. Edward Ripley. I do like his art. Alright, so we've got some paint by numbers up here. Thrifter Drunk or Vintage Hunter, who's become a friend of mine, Misty. She buys a lot of these. And uh had conversations about these about how I have no idea anything about these. But I think I'm gonna get these. And see <laughs> see what all the fuss is about. There's like three of them up there. And they're seascapes, so why not? I'll give them a shot. So these are like seven bucks a piece. This one is obviously a seascape. This one is winter scene. And another winter scene. For seven bucks? I don't know. I mean, I don't know a thing about paint by numbers, but all the other resellers are doing it, so why not? We'll give it a shot. Could be something I'm missing out on, I don't know. I think it's the new popular thing. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Kind of an interesting piece. said Paul's always got stuff hidden. You have to like look in all the nooks and crannies or you might miss something. That's 39. Oh, I'm tempted. <laughs> nice tramp art piece. But I'm not going to do it. I'm being selective. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting paint by numbers. Don't judge me. I'm so terribly tempted right now to just bring this cat home. I have one though, exactly like this, and it's tan. And it's in my living room, so I can't. I'm afraid they might not get along. So I'm gonna leave this one here, but it's only $9, which I think is incredible. <laughs> Down here we've got this. I do like this head base. $19. for the head base. It's marked? No, it's not marked. I do like her. I must take her for 19. I might be splurging, but I really do like her. I like I like the white. It's very elegant. Let's see what's right here. Let's have a look in the cabinets. Is this a humidor? Oh yeah. It's got a chippy chip though. I should say cracky crack. That's such a shame. He's really neat. Look at the birds.
Weller. That reminds me of Weller. Back there looks like Fenton. What is the price on that? Come here. Come on. Nine fifty. Stand by. Nine dollars and fifty cents. What? I will absolutely take that. That's amazing. I'm just gonna cradle it here. So. He would make somebody's house very happy. But I don't know if I can do them for 18. Not for me, but for somebody. Now, this piece I discovered the last time I was here, and I don't remember it ever being here before that. So, I'm going to poke in here because they've got some nice things. They have all these Vera's here. Um, these Vera's are typically what I can expect to get for a Vera, so I can't buy these for resale, but they've got like a huge collection of Vera's here, which is really nice. Ooh, let's back up a second. Made in Occupy Japan for $2.50. It's a little cherub. And a butterfly. It's not damaged either. I really like that. He's adorable. He's nakey nakey, as I would say to my children. Stop being so nakey nakey. Get your clothes on. Um, but I like that. Also, wait, let's turn this over. I don't, I don't recognize that. I think it's a full spot. Um, so we're gonna take this little guy for 250. That's amazing. It's a fantastic price. See what else is down there? Goodness gracious. The cups are great. I'm not sure how to the canter to the lid down. Lots of pans, big lights. $14. Just checking to see how many are chips. That's why I'm pausing for a moment. These have a tendency to get all chipped up. It's unfortunate. I can like, pass on those. These dolls, I think they're Bradley. I think they're made by Bradley. I think there's actually two companies that make them, and one of them is Bradley. It looks like somebody dropped a cigarette on her head. That's such a shame. <laughs> they, got, they have those really big eyes. I think they're made in Korea. I think that's where those are made. Small and perfect beaded purse. I mean, there's some beads missing. Eight dollars. It's eleven. No, I'm just not. I don't know purses that well. Oh, it's twenty-five percent off though. So. For 25% off? These beaded purses? I feel like that would be worth it. Oh, and that means my little figurine is 25% off too. I feel like that would be worth it without knowing how much they're worth. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess. Can I take a guess? I think I'll take that for 
say they're bohemian. I'm not sure, it could be bohemian. You can usually tell by the actual petals on the flowers. Um, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's Italian, but I'll take that. I so wish that I had this guy in this booth. Now I do suspect it is, might be Fenton. I might have to look this one up. I'm still learning about that. I'm kind of a modeled Fenton. It's very like crude though, it's kind of a little wobbly. And then down here, a show shaped dish. That's Murano. That's only $12.50. I don't see any chips or cracks on that. And you guys know, I'd pay twelve fifty for Murano. This blue pottery vase, five dollars, I'd pay that. Oh, I gotta bring my stuff up front and come back. Be right back. So this just happened, <laughs> and I, I just I couldn't get it on camera because I was just so quick to snatch it off the top of that cabinet. Um. It's Shawnee, it's not Haker, but it's giraffes. And so I had to snack, you know, and now I gotta bring it up front because now my hands are full again. I just brought everything up front so that I'd have free hands. Wait, here we go. Ta-da! Maybe, I need two hands to grab the basket. All right, so I'm gonna set this up here. is 22. It's not marked. It really m reminds me of that Marihana Vasa Fenton that I've been getting lately. It might not be. But in either case, it's a really pretty art glass piece. And I think I'm going to get it either way because I, I feel like I can still make money on it. So I'm hoping it's Fenton. I'm not counting on it. I'm going to get it. And the other piece is this one. It's got that adventuring in it. 22. Hoping it's Fenton, but again, not counting on it. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research because I'm just now learning about this this kind of Fenton. I didn't know about it before my viewers taught me about it. So I'm grabbing this for five dollars. I like the lines of it. It's not marked on the bottom. So I'm gonna stick that in there as well. Ooh, it's getting a little scary. Backing up, backing up. How's it chip? We don't like chips. All right, so this piece right here, also Murano. We're gonna grab this piece. 30 is too much, I can't pay 30. You guys know, like 25 is my limit. This one's only 20. I'll grab this one. That one's 27, I'm not gonna budge. 25 is my limit. So I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna set it next to my cart though, cause as you know, art glass is very heavy. Well, Murano art glass is very heavy and it'll damage what I have in there. All right, so I'm pretty pleased with all of this. Um, if there had been a sale in the booth, I probably would have gotten a little bit more um, because I mean, 27 isn't that far away from 25. I just, I can't budge on that. 25 is kind of my limit for art glass, unless it's spectacular. Um, but I think I'll do okay with these pieces. So <laughs> Steve was actually stuck inside that glass container and I pulled him out. And would you believe it? It's got a bird on it. I've never seen a Steve with a bird on it before. He's $95 though. I think he's gonna live inside this glass container. It looks pretty comfy in there though. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. All right. We love this booth. This booth has great things. I like this bunny. Bunny bank. Royal Dalton. I'm gonna see a price on it. It must be on the back. Ooh, it makes me nervous. You can see I'm shaking. $35, Royal Dalton bunny bank. I don't know how much those go for. I just know recently we sold the Royal Dalton little bunny figurines, and so that's what makes me think that that might be something good, but I don't know. 
I didn't know anything about those until we sold those recently. Oh my gosh, look at those Dresden. Dresden lace figurines. Gosh, they're beautiful. And you can, you, can, you can look at these and you can tell the difference. If you've ever seen the Japanese versions, these are the German versions. And you can see the delicacy in the design. And this is, I mean, this is the German, the Dresden, Dresden version. Just so delicate and so beautiful. Love it. Some Bakelite in there. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, puzzle box. No, it's just a regular box, it's not a puzzle box. Okay, I got all excited for now. Shining face over there. Scooch through here. Oh it's very sweet. For eight dollars, I don't know if I can do that. We've still got our carrot lamp here, two twenty-five. If you remember, Eric actually got me one of these. It came in one of our boxes, um, so I was really thrilled with that. Otherwise, I would still be coveting that lamp. <laughs> but now I've got one, so I'm okay now. Can't get it over kitty. Shawnee pigs. I love the Shawnee bird stuff. There's a lot of Shawnee pottery in here. It must have been an auction of someone's Shawnee pottery. Well, I've spotted this little covered duck. I like it. But unfortunately, there are no prices on him. So, yeah, I don't see any prices. There's a lot of prices for other things. I don't know if I should go ask, maybe. Little Dalton paper. It's fancy. Maybe I'll leave it. I'll leave it this time. Still here the next time I will ask. We've got this stemless daisy piece down here. It's marked as is though. It looks like there's a huge chip right here. So we're gonna pass on that. Otherwise I would grab that. Wow. I really like that. I love that reverse painting. I just can't do it for 32. Okay. Uh, tramp art? Hello? Hello, tramp art. 59. Yay, that's actually a pretty good price for tramp art. I'm just hesitant. As a tank for the shampoo. This booth usually has some pretty good prices. Always worth looking. I've always loved that lamp up there. I always tell myself no. I don't need a lamp. Telling myself again, I don't need a lamp. Oh, let's look over here. <laughs> He's pretty funky looking. Ten dollars. I love this set. Twenty-eight for the chocolate set. Comes with the cups. That I am tempted. I I am seriously tempted on that. And what in the world do we have back here? Ooh. Oh, I really like that. Oh. There are no discounts on this booth and for $24. Oi. Made in Germany. I've never seen anything like this before. I feel like I could get 40 bucks for this.
Now, I always like debate with myself, and then I, I should always just follow my gut. You know, I, I just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. And then I'm gonna debate over this chocolate pot stuff. I'm gonna set this here. This up to check the bottom. So, let me see. This is a, a combination of hand painted and transfer. It's a beautiful set, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass on this. If it's here the next time it was meant to be, if it was completely hand painted, I'd probably, I'd probably do it. But I'm gonna pass on that. I've got some stain gold down here. What kind of bird is that? A quail. Oh, it's a quail. A single quail ashtray. I like this. <laughs> I know it's a stick figure, but this is good. This is real good. I, I don't even know what it says. That's art. This is art. I'm gonna take it for five dollars. My Dow China. Twenty-five. I can't do twenty-five. That's it. That's all she wrote. You can hear them over there packaging my stuff. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.